Uh, my name is Eden Dupont. I'm a physician assistant at Health Science Center in Winnipeg. I graduated from the University of Manitoba master's program. What tips would you have for students in terms of uh, applying and ensuring that you're competitive? So for the University of Manitoba, I find that um, a lot of the times we look for things outside the box a little bit more, uh, people volunteering a lot more, people who have their more original ideas. I found that that just kind of sticks out. Uh, of course you need your basic sciences and um, your work ethic there, uh, but I think you look for people that are um, they have that drive to do a little bit more. Just looking for myself when I do some interviews sometimes, I just, there's this uh, passion where they've looked into the program, the PA program. They've kind of had an idea of uh, what PAs have done and what they would like to do if they were a PA. So just a little bit more research in the capabilities of what a PA can do. And what was your experience of Manitoba's PA program? It was quite a, a I would say just a big rush of a lot of information. Uh, the first year was a big blur, although it was a great time being able to um, learn about the medicine. Uh, it was just a good time with spending with the group and learning, uh, just a lot of learning. So the first year uh, PA program is didactic. There's three semesters when I was there. I'm not sure if it's changed. It's been about five years now. Uh, it kind of does an overlapping of starting off with uh, basic sciences like biochemistry, physiology, and then adding the medicine uh, as the year goes, as well as continuing the physical examination and clinical skills at the beginning. There's a little thing we call early exposure, so uh, you get to see or a shadow of PA or a doctor every week and just kind of see how the flow goes. Uh, every week there was always a test or a presentation that we had to do uh, from different uh, courses, especially we were part of, there was like a research portion that we were getting started with and uh, just some reflection classes as well. Second year PA school again was um, a big challenge in the fact that we were separated. So you become close with this group of 12, you're really good friends and then when you go out to your rotations you're separated with the med students so you don't have kind of that, um, that support with someone else. So initially you do pretty much all of your uh, core rotations in Winnipeg. There's different hospitals there that we do. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to the Acadia Diamond Mine up by Yellowknife to see occupational medicines. That was interesting. Um, but uh, it was a, a big learning curve to kind of match yourself with the med students when you're alone in that group setting. And would you say that your clinical roles and responsibilities were similar to third or fourth year med students? Um, yes. It was quite a big, I guess, learning curve again to get to that level, especially uh, just being with the people was kind of hard to find your, where you fit in, especially because a lot of the physicians that are teaching don't know what a physician assistant is. So how did you navigate that? Was there a lot of education around? That? Yes. So especially with the uh, supervising or like the attending at the time, um, they would always ask like, what are you expected to do and, and I would uh, educate them at what uh, we can do and kind of to continue to teach us similar to the med students. Mm -hmm. And did the PA program prepare you to have those type of conversations? Yeah. Uh, especially um, in our classes, we had a lot of that elevator speech I'm sure everyone knows about, about what a PA does. And especially with ex early exposures and seeing PAs working, you get to see uh, what the extent that we could do. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about the Capstone Project? Because yes. we don't have that here in Ontario. So um, the Capstone pro Project, it could be either uh, a review of the different papers, whatever area your specialty you'd like, or it could be an original piece of research. Usually it's something geared towards PAs, so that's kind of a quicker uh, survey-like research project. Um, a lot of my classmates did uh, uh, paper reviews with different physicians that they were interested in, in the topics like endocrine or GI, uh, cardiology, those things. Um, for me, I did a survey of 10 students across, or graduates of PAs across Canada of, of emergency medicine and how they felt whether they were prepared from the PA program to work in emergency medicine. Mm -hmm. And is that something you started first year or second year? Uh, usually second year. 
the first year, they did prepare you with how to create your PICO question and kind of how to navigate through research papers. That was kind of the basics of how to start. And then the second year was when you formulate your question and then they find you a mentor and then you get started. How did the job hunt work for graduates of the management program? Because I know this was five years ago. For yeah, we were actually quite a lucky class because they presented us with a package of available uh, uh, jobs in the province. So I'm, I'm sure there was maybe, there was over the amount that of the people that were graduating, so 12, but they're not all in Winnipeg, so there were some in the north, some in the rural areas, and we had a time uh, frame to apply to the ones we want, and then there was an interview session, and then we all had jobs by the time we graduated. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that still the case for grads now? No, unfortunately. Um, I'm not too familiar, but there are times now where the jobs are just posted. It's just a public post now in the Manitoba network online, and anyone could... Do you still keep in touch with your classmates? Yes, uh, some of my best friends, are, are, uh, I still see them. Uh, both of them are working as hospitalists now in the peripheral hospitals in Winnipeg. Uh, aside from that, I do, I do see the other ones because they do work at HSC as well. So there's one that works in plastics, uh, surgery, one that works in nephrology with the dialysis program. Mm -hmm. And then there's one in Calgary, I'm not sure what she's doing right now, and one that's working in emergency in New Brunswick. Being a physician assistant is one of the best things that I've ever done. Uh, I feel like it, it is a great profession if you want to work in medicine, but also be able to work closely with patients, see patients, have time to see patients, and as well as have a good quality of life outside of, the, outside of work.